So I went to Clear Louise the other day to watch the new Indiana Jones film, Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny. And while coming out of the film, I was thinking of all the other films that came before it, all those films I loved when I was growing up. Still here, great. Uh, I've got a pitch meeting out now uh, where I'm watching Ryan George do his uh, Indiana Jones and the Dallas of the pitch meeting, so it's my reaction, and it's a lot better than the film. Uh, I was going to review the film, uh, but I really haven't got time, I've got to go work. Uh, however, the short version, I was bored with it. To me, it was like a Disney Plus um, seven episode limited series strung together with all the title and credits cut out into one edited together into one film it just felt like that it was just long over long i was actually in agony at one point because it was like it's over two and a half hours uh, it just felt like a big like you know disney plus tv series just strung together to put out in the theaters there was bits they could have cut out in fact because i was thinking of it as the episodes in a limited series i thought there's episodes that could have cut out all the bits underwater that could have gone it, it was over long. Um, like when they find the second half of the dial, um, I was thinking all the other films are finishing at this point. <sighs> this, oh, this is, we've got half an hour yet. It's just, it's just it's too long. Uh, if you've not seen it at the cinema yet, and uh, I don't think anybody has, because it's playing all around the world now in empty theatres, wait for it to come on Disney Plus or other streaming devices because it's too long. And uh, if you are an Indiana Jones fan, by all means, go and see it. But I think you'll find you'll be disappointed. I was actually bored with the action scenes. And that is a weird thing to say, especially for an Indiana Jones film. But they go on too long. And I could go on, on and on about how Disney and Kathleen Kennedy likes to put the identity politics in it. I'd love to make it all female. Uh, which is nothing wrong with that in, in, in any sense. But Disney copied that. Cut and paste that format again and again and again. Uh, but needless to say, I gave it uh, two pies out of five. Uh, Harrison was good. Toby Jones should have been in it more. And uh, as for Fleabag, <sighs> she was all right. The woman's probably great in real life. It's just how it was written. It's, um, it's, it's just, she comes across as unlikable. And as for the ending, geez, well, that, well, that was brought up in the picture meeting. So do watch that, I recommend that. But uh, yeah, if you need to see Anna Jones, if it's a rainy day, you know, all right, fair enough, go and see it. But I, I would recommend a for it to go streaming. Right, that's my rant over. Uh, talk to you soon. Take care.